So today open up a toolbox. That was kind of loud. Um, we're picking up a toolbox today, so I'll show you how I do it. Um, again, everyone does it differently. Some people have a long, uh, endless loop strap they wrap around the box. I don't have one long enough, so I just use my chains. When you put the J-hook, the little mini forged, you're gonna put it like this, so that when the chain pulls, it will actually pull on this side. Uh, if you put it on that side, when you pull it, sometimes the chain will push that way and pop out. Watch, I shorten out the chains using the grab hooks, try to level it so it's both pulling at the same uh, length. And I tried a bunch of chains here just so that they don't fall into the bed because that does happen and it's annoying. Make sure your free spool is locked in, uh, in position, make sure it goes in. Alright, now. You, I always pull them with the wheels that don't turn that uh, in the front. The wheels that do turn in the back, so I can control it going up the bed. I make sure the brakes are off. stand to the side of the toolbox to try to control it just in case if it does come flying off the bed it gets disengaged you're not behind it trying to stop a toolbox okay now on my bed I have multiple holes so I try to line up with the holes as much as I can so that it's centered with the box at this point, if you want, you can put the brake on. Okay. Now, before towing these, always make sure that these drawers are locked. Okay. And look for tabs like this that are loose. All right. You want to make sure that every single drawer is locked so that it doesn't open up on you. I don't like these little tab things. They look like, seem like they're loose. All right. Then we'll take straps. And I'll wrap it around the toolbox to make sure that uh, it doesn't, you know, you can never trust the locks on those. <clears throat> All right, so now when you hook up, I'll show you how I hook up the back. I'm going to remove, oh, this should be fine. Okay. Now I do use chains on the toolbox but I don't kill the winch. Like I don't tighten it all the way.
put the grab hooks like this, okay? And I'm gonna go to this corner. Now this, the reason I'm doing it this way is just to keep the toolbox from going front and back. You don't want the toolbox to go front and back, you know, when you, while you're driving. Just snug it. Alright, because the main goal is just to keep it from moving forward and back. And that's it. Alright, so now that's tight, but it's not killing it, so it's not super tight. You just want to prevent it from going this way. And now we'll put the straps on. Sometimes these are good because they're they're long enough. Yeah, this will work. These straps I actually got from IKEA. this trap you don't have to go crazy over tightening it All right, it's just so that you keep the drawers for uh, from opening if it does open up on you If you're worried about 
the box getting scratched up on the top you can always just add a rag or something for uh, extra protection super tight but just enough that if the doors were to try to open it would prevent it from opening all right okay so now i got it where i want it I will be cranking down on these you could either use a pool noodle or you can use microfiber towels If you remember my straps, I said that I've ordered them a bit longer because normally the other ones have a little shorter. I believe, I can't remember, I think so. Um, so it's good that they're longer because if you get larger toolboxes, you can strap them down.
Okay, so from the beginning, sorry about the stiffness, it's cold out. So insert the mini J's like that, okay, so that when it pulls in, you see how they're pulling in, it'll stay hooked, it won't dis uh, it won't disconnect. Sometimes you do it the other way, they will. So bridle shortened out like that. Okay, and then the grab hooks on the back wheels. Now again, remember you are not tightening this as if you were tightening a car, you don't want to overdo it. It's just to keep it from moving back and forth while you're driving, okay? Again, this is how I do it, you know, everybody does things differently. I don't know, I'm not saying mine is the most perfect way, but this is the way I've been doing it for years and haven't had any issues. Grab hook here, all right, and then straps going around the box to prevent the drawers from opening, even though I had the customer lock the box with the key but sometimes with the bouncing around you never know you don't want to take a chance so always put the two straps to cover all the drawers and if they're bigger then if it's a larger box put more straps on all the other ones and then that's it and then the two straps going over okay and i'll give you a little bit of a back view hopefully the sun doesn't mess up the uh footage and that's it just like that all right I know some people are gonna say the winch is not a tie down. So if you're concerned about that, you can always just use a small hook. Your little motorcycle ratchets go in there to that wheel behind it and then pull it to each corner. Um, again, this is not, um, I'm doing it, this is where I do it for many years and I've never had an issue. My main straps are these two straps that are gonna secure the box. Those are just, again, a little bit of a securement to keep it from moving back and forth okay you're not going to over tighten it it's just to keep it so that the box doesn't go forward or back and rock back and forth like this these two straps are the main straps you're going to want to be concerned with because this is what's going to hold the box down all right i guess i'll uh, see you when i drop well all right so as you can see we made it here safely Another thing I want to tell you. So when you're strapping the toolboxes down, okay, you want to keep it from like this point here or to the edges here, because this is where it's more stronger. Okay, on this side as well. If you do it in the middle here, you're gonna bend the top of the box down like this, and you don't want that. So always try to keep it closer to the corners. Obviously, you don't want it right on the corner. In this case, you can because it's strapped down that way anyway. Um, it's secured the other way around, but. You don't never want to put one single strap right here because you'll bend this down and then you'll have an issue with the customer. So always try to keep it like this or like I said, you can go like even right up to this corner because this is the strongest part. And the straps and the rags. Okay, so that's done. We're gonna be rolling it off, so let's take the brakes off. It's crazy. All right, so you're gonna loosen the winch a little bit. All right, don't loosen it too fast because you don't want, the, let's say if it stays there, then you loosen it, that can detach itself, whatever. Okay, now. All right, so it's still straight, it's not bent because I didn't pull on it too hard. You don't wanna overkill it. Now, if you have a different strap set up, you could strap the wheels and pull it up 
you can strap the box and pull it up, but I don't have a long enough endless loop strap. Again, you know, there's many ways of getting the job done. Um, this is just my way and how I've been doing it for years and I haven't had any issues. So, you know, everybody has their own way. I'm not saying my way is the perfect way. Just saying that this is the way I do it and it works. pretty much it so if you don't have a remote just do it nice and easy if you do have a remote then you could stand on the side of it and winch it down you know just controlling where it goes <clears throat> and another thing is when you're loading these make sure you grab them by the wheels or somewhere strong never grab them by the handle I've seen people grab them by the handle and then they bend the whole handle and you're responsible for that. This handle here is not made for you to pull it with a winch. All right, see how it's like this? You put it here, you'll pull this and this will end up like this or downwards because the winch will be pulling it down and that's it. Now it's on the ground. So, you know, you can put your, uh, you can put the locks on if you want on the side so it doesn't go rolling anywhere. sure if you guys seen it or not but just in case i'll insert a photo of how the hook is set up so that you can see it Take off the uh, straps on the bottom. And again, these straps are from IKEA. Um, I have a bunch of these because every time I go to IKEA, I keep forgetting. Uh, to bring my straps and then I don't wind up buying them. They're like five bucks for I think a pack of two or something like that. Um, but I use them all the time. I use them on the forklifts when I'm picking up forklifts and they have like a piece of wood on top to, that people put like to block the sun or to protect them from the rain when it's raining or something like that or just debris. I usually put uh, one or two of these on top of the machine and just strap the, uh, the piece of wood down or whatever they have holding there. Or sometimes if it's easy to take off, I just take it off and leave it with them and they can put it back on when they get the machine back from service. said he's gonna come get the box not the owner the uh, manager from inside so I'm just gonna leave the box right here let's put the lock on the box doesn't go room to make sure the box isn't going anywhere take my pictures and this way the owner knows that his box will be here uh, also take pictures with my tow book 
so that if anything happens to it I will not be held liable for any damages after dropping it off put my foot in front of the door so I don't get hit <laughs> and that is it so that is how I do the boxes and now I just put everything away um, but again that's what I like about the uh, e-point tie downs you know you could use them for a bunch of different things all right guys well I'll start wrapping myself up uh, thank you for watching if you are not a subscriber please consider giving me a follow subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any other requests of uh, like a video that you would like to see or something shoot me a message and let me know what you would like to see more of and I will try to help you and I'll try to make a video for you all right so thanks for watching guys god bless